Now in this tutorial I'm going to go over variables. Variables, you know, basic math. I say x equals 5. Then I ask what's x plus 3? Well, it's 8. That's the variable. It holds the value of something. And why are variables good? Well, you will see. Set. Let's say more, your variables can be named almost anything in batch. Set. Set command is to name your variable. So let's remove our tags. And set num1 equals Bob. Now we're going to say Paul's then echo hello comma percent. Let's change the name of our variable from num1 to name. Percent name percent exclamation mark. Save it. Run this. Hello Bob. Press the key to continue. You may wonder how this works. Well, we're basically saying echo hello variable exclamation mark. When you put two percents around a word, as you can see, Notepad 2 highlights it this strange color because that's a variable. There's also exclamation mark variables, but we're not going to go over those here. But see, up here, I set name equal to Bob. I set the variable name equal to Bob. So when I call on percent name percent, it inserted Bob here. It just took Bob and then insert it into here. So if I change this to Joe, it's going to say hello comma space exclamation mark because name is now not defined. It's a variable that I haven't defined yet, but Joe is defined. So if I type Joe like that, hello Bob, it works again. Um, so that's how variables work. They hold the value of something. Um, if I say like 5 plus 5, um, let me say, say change this to the result of your equation is now. Well now let's change the. I want to change the name to equation. Change the name of my variable to equation. Now look what happens. If I say set five plus five, it's going to say the result of your equation is five plus five. Obviously. 5 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 5, but that we want it to return 10. But when you set a variable, it sets anything after the equal sign as a string. Um, strings are mean. Strings mean it's a um, a variable that's equal to something that's not a number. That's basically what a string is. So, such as set, such as Bob would be a string. Usually in programming language you see strings in quotes. So like Bob would be a string, 5 plus 5 would be a string, but like 1 wouldn't be a string. Because it's it's a number, it's not like a sentence. So that's kind of like how it sets it to, it sets it to like a sentence or a string. But if you set slash a, it'll actually view it as a number and try to calculate it. So if you set, and these are called switches. After a command, if you put a slash, then something, um, that it's called a switch, such as CD desktop. If I say, you think of an example, task list, this command will list all our tasks. But see, this stuff at the top, image name, PD, and all that weird stuff, well, it's not weird, but you probably don't understand it, and if you do, well, good for you. Um, task list. If you use the slash nh switch, the little bar thing doesn't appear at the top. And n8, when you use slash and then it's something after a command, it's called a switch. So the slash na switch views our variable as a as an equation and tries to solve it. So now it's actually going to return us the result of your equation is 10. And it does no order of operations to plus 2 times 2. Something didn't know order of operations, it would say 4 and times 2 is 8. It would say this is 8. But we all know order of operations that 2 plus 2 times 2 is equal to 6. So as you can see this will say 6 because it knows order of operations. And that's it for this tutorial on variables. Next will be quick on user input.